Hey guys, um, so as you can see by the title, today's video is a little bit different because I recently discovered that I made a mistake and instead of just brushing it under the rug and acting like it didn't happen, I wanted to make a video and just sit down and explain what happened and say I'm sorry. But before I say sorry for the mistake, I want to say sorry for clickbaiting this. This is technically an apology video because I did make a mistake, but it's nothing serious. So go ahead and give this video a lovely thumbs down for the clickbait. But if you watched the video I posted last Saturday about that small acrylic hamster cage, which I actually have sitting right here, you know in that video I mentioned that the acrylics look really, really bad. And I even mentioned that I tried to see if there was a protective coating on it that you usually peel off and there wasn't one on there. So I really bashed this cage for looking horrible. Of course, there's plenty of other reasons to bash it because it is just a pathetic cage. But after I posted the video and had everything up, I decided to take a closer look at the cage and I was wrong. There is a protective layer on this. So today I thought I would peel that off and just do a short little update video to clickbait you guys and show you what this cage looks like without the layer on. Like I said in that video, I did try to see if there was a protective layer, but I didn't feel anything. And it's just because it is on here like really, really good. When I came back to see if I could get anything off, I had to like really dig at it because I don't have any nails, but I'm not sure you can tell I have got the protective layer off the top so I'm gonna go ahead and take all the protective film off of this and maybe it will look more like the picture this time so yes I clickbaited you I would say I'm sorry but I think it's kind of funny I don't know I'm sure some of you don't but I'm gonna take the protective layer off of here and then I will be back and show you what this enclosure if you want to call it an enclosure what this small torture box actually looks like Okay, so I am back. That took way longer than I will ever be willing to admit, and my fingers are like raw and sore from trying to get all the plastic off. But I finally got all the plastic off, and here is what the cage looks like if you actually know what you're doing and remove all of the protective film. Of course, it still is just a tiny acrylic torture device that you shouldn't be putting a live animal in, but it does look way nicer, and it actually looks like the listing. So I will give the cage credit where credit is due, and it does look pretty cool. It would look a lot better if I wasn't a disgusting human and it wasn't already covered in fingerprints and random dog hair and floor fuzz. I don't know what's on it, but it does look a lot cooler. So if you're wanting this cage as like a hide or something in your hamster cage, don't worry. It doesn't look all cloudy and nasty. You just have to be smart enough to take the protective cover off. So that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to do a short little update because when I do videos about products, even if they are products I would never recommend or use myself, I want to give them a fair chance. So I didn't want to leave you guys thinking that that is what the cage actually looked like when it was my fault, when it is actually nice and clear and a nicer quality acrylic. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, make sure you give this video a big thumbs down for that awful clickbait. But if you did happen to enjoy the clickbait for some reason, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time.